हेलो स्टूडेंट्स जय हिंद वंदे मातरम वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर क्लास रवि सर जी मैथ द इजीएस्ट एंड फाइनेस्ट वे टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू सोल्व द पेयर ऑफ लिनियर इक्वेशन विथ टू वेरिएबल बाय यूजिंग मैट्रिक्स मैथड स्टूडेंट्स इन आर टूडे वीडियो लेशन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सोल्व द इक्वेशंस हैविंग ट्रिपल वेरिएबल हाउ मेनी वेरिएबल ट्रिपल वेरिएबल थ्री वेरिएबल्स स्टूडेंट्स यूजिंग मैट्रिक्स मैथड वी कैन सोल्व एनी लिनियर इक्वेशंस विथ डिफरेंट नंबर्स ऑफ वेरिएबल ओके स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टूडे वीडियो लेशंस इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल जस्ट सब्सक्राइब एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू हिट द बेल आइकन ओके स्टूडेंट now here the equations are given just first of all writing these equations uh, the equations are x plus y plus z is equal to 3 this is the first equation and 2x minus y minus z is equal to again 3 and x minus y Plus z is equal to nine. Okay, students. First of all, writing these equation in a form of matrix. Okay. So here you can write what a matrix having these coefficient. The coefficients of x over here one. The coefficient of x is two, and here in the coefficient of x is on. Similarly. With y uh, with y variable, the uh, we will write the coefficient here in first equation. The coefficient of y is again one. Here is minus one, and here is minus one. Similarly, we will write the coefficient of z. So one here is minus one, and here is one, right? And these coefficients. Multiple with x, y, and z. X, y, and z. So we will write x, y, z. This is the second matrix. These are equal to what? Three, three, nine. Three, three, and nine. Okay, students. So here we can write what? A. This is A. This is what x, and this is what b. Okay. We want to find out what x over here. So x will be what a inverse b. Okay, student. So writing the matrix A. Matrix A is one having element one, two, one, minus one, minus one, minus one, and in the third column one. Minus one and one. Okay, student. Now we will find out uh, the value of this matrix. We will find out the value of this matrix. So matrix means we will find out the determined value of this matrix. So one expanding with one. Do not write this element and this element. Just do the cross multiplication over here. One into minus one, we are getting minus one. This is the sign of formula. Minus one into minus one plus one. Okay, with minus one, expanding with minus one. Do not write this element and this element. So two one and minus one and one. So one into two, one into two, two minus one into minus one. So minus one. Okay, so now expanding with one. So do not write this element and this element. So one minus one into two minus two. This is the sign of formula. One into minus one. So minus one will be there. Okay, student. So the value of a. Now doing the simple work over here. Minus one minus one into one. So we are getting. One into minus two. Again minus one. Two 
minus 1 minus 1 so 2 plus 1 there will be 2 plus 1 1 plus 1 minus 2 minus into minus 1 plus 1 so minus 2 plus 1 okay so just multiplying 1 into minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 2 plus 1 3 so there will be minus 3 plus 1 there will be minus 2 plus 1 means minus 1 into 1 so we are getting what minus 1 okay students so what we are getting minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 we are getting minus 6 which is not is equal to 0 it means a inverse exist if a inverse exists so you can find out the values of x y and z okay students so our target is to be what find out first of all find out a inverse so we know that a inverse is equal to 1 upon modulus a means determinant a and add the joint of a right this is a formula to find out inverse of matrix okay so let us see with example suppose you having the matrix a you having the matrix a like suppose a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 and a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 you having this matrix you want to find out what adjoint of this matrix what is adjoint of this matrix so adjoint of matrix a will be what find out the cofactor of these elements so cofactor of these element a11 will be what suppose capital a11 and here will be a12 here will be a13 so co cofactor of this um, element a21 a22 a23 and here will be a31 a32 and a33 and find out the transpose of this right find out transpose of this so we will you will get what adjoint of this matrix means row will be converted to the column and column will be converted into the row so you will get a11 a12 a13 similarly a21 a22 a23 a31 a31 a32 and a33 this will be the adjoint of matrix a okay students now our target is to you what find out the cofactor of all these elements so first of all we will find out a11 a11 this is the first row and first column so we will write minus 1 is to the power 1 plus 1 so applying these things okay we will not write these element and these element we will take the combinations of these element okay students so we will write a22 a32 a23 and a33 so from a okay students from a we will not write these uh, elements and these elements we will write minus 1 minus 1 1 and minus 1 so in the matrix minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 understood students see very carefully we want to find out what the cofactor of this mat this element means we want to find out cofactor of a11 this is equal to 1 and we want to find out cofactor of this this element so we will write only this element okay students now doing the cross multiplication 
so obviously minus 1 is to the power 1 plus 1 2 there will be plus so cross multiplication will be there minus 1 and uh, minus this is sign of formula minus 1 into minus 1 so minus 1 again 1 so we are getting minus 2 ok student now we will find out a 2 2 a 1 2 what a 1 2 the cofactor of a 1 2 there will be capital a 1 2 this will be minus 1 is to the power 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 ok student so we will find out the cofactor of this one this element so we will not write these element and these element so we will write 2 1 minus 1 and 1 2 1 minus 1 and 1 so minus 1 is to the power 1 plus 2 means 3 odd number so there will be minus 2 into 1 2 minus 1 into minus 1 there will be minus 1 it will be become plus so we are getting minus 3 ok now finding the cofactor of a13 means the cofactor of a1 again so we will write a13 the cofactor of a13 means minus 1 is to the power 1 plus 3 the cofactor of 1 we will not write these element and these elements so 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 there will be 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 so minus 1 is to the power 1 plus 3 means 4 even number so this will be plus minus 1 into 2 minus 2 this is sign of formula minus uh, 1 into minus 1 minus 1 it will be multiplied by minus sign so it will become plus so we are getting minus 1 ok now cofactor of a21 capital a21 so minus 1 is to the power 2 plus 1 so cofactor of 2 we will not write these element and these element so we will write 1 and minus 1 1 and 1 1 and minus 1 1 and 1 1 minus 1 1 and 1 so minus 1 is to the power of 2 plus 1 means 3 there will be negative sign 1 into 1 1 sign of minus minus 1 into 1 minus 1 it will be multiplied by minus so there will be plus so we are getting minus 2 now the cofactor of a 2 2 a 2 2 so minus 1 is to the power 2 plus 2 cofactor of a 2 2 means cofactor of minus 1 so do not write these element and these elements so 1 2 1 sorry 1 1 1 1 so 1 1 1 1 ok so minus 1 is to the power 2 plus 2 means plus, uh, 4 minus 1 is to the power 4 means 1 so multiplying these element 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 so 1 we are getting what 0 ok now we will find out the cofactor of a23 means cofactor of minus 1 cofactor of minus 1 so a 2 3 2 3 so minus 1 is to the power 2 3 means 2 plus 3 we want to find out cofactor of minus 1 right student a 2 3 means cofactor of minus 1 so eliminating these elements and uh, these elements so we will write what 1 1 and 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 so minus 1 is to the power 2 plus 3 means 5 minus 1 is to the power 5 will be minus ok and minus 1 into 1 minus 1 1 into 1 this is sign of formula 1 so minus 2 will be there it will be multiplied by minus so we are getting plus 2 ok a31 a31 
So minus 1 is to the power 3 plus 1. You want to find out the cofactor of this element. So accepting these uh, rows and this column, we will write 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. Okay. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. Here we are we having minus 1 is to the power 3 plus 1 means minus is to the power 4. It will be ultimately plus. So cross multiplication over here. One, minus 1 into 1 minus and minus 1 into 1. This is sign of formula minus 1 into 1 minus 1. It will be become plus. So we are getting what? 0. Okay. Now finding the cofactor of A32. A32. So minus 1 is to the power 3 plus 2. We want to find out the cofactor of A32. Means cofactor of minus 1. Okay, accepting these elements and these elements. So we will write 1, 2, 1 minus 1. 1, 2, 1 minus 1. Okay. So minus 1 is to the power 3 plus 2. We come 5. So there will be minus. So 1 into 1 minus 1. This is sign of formula 2 into 1 minus 2. So minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 into minus. So we are getting 3. Similarly A3 what? 3. A33 three, three. that means cofactor of A33 three, three. means cofactor of 1. So, minus 1 is to the power 3 plus 3, cofactor of 1. So, accepting these element and these element, so we will write 1, 2, 1 minus 1. 1, 2, 1 minus 1. Understood, student? Accepting these element, we want to find out 1. So, we will remove this element and these element we will write 1 2 1 minus 1 okay so what we are getting minus 1 is to the power 3 plus 3 means 6 so obviously this will be plus cross multiplication 1 into 1 minus 1 sign of formula 2 into 1 minus 2 what we are getting minus 3 so student we want to find out the adjoint A. Adjoint A. So what will be the adjoint A? Adjoint A. 1. A11. One, one, A21. A31. Right students? Otherwise we can write. Means transpose of this. Means adjoint A. A11. A21. Means we will write uh, the element of rows into the column okay so we are starting from here a11 there is minus 2 there is minus 3 there is minus 1 and similarly minus 2 0 2, there is 0, 3 and minus 3. This is adjoint of a matrix. Okay, student. Now, the next is what? As per the formula, x is equal to a inverse b. x is equal to a inverse b, where a inverse is what? 1 upon modulus a, adjoint of a, into b okay now substitute the values of all these uh, matrix so here is been 1 upon a means 1 upon minus 6 adjoint a what is adjoint a minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 0 and 2 0 3 minus 3 and the element of matrix B. Element of matrix B is what? 3, 3, 9. 3, 3, 9. Okay. 
now we know that how to do the multiplication of matrix now minus 3 into 3 minus sorry minus minus 2 into 3 minus 6 minus 2 into 3 again minus 6 right so 0 into 9 there will be 0 minus 3 into 3 minus 9 0 into 3 0 3 into 9 plus 27 minus 1 into 3 minus 3 2 into 3 6 and 3 into 9 minus 27 okay students so 1 by 6 6 6 minus 12 here is 27 minus 9 18 and here is minus 30 minus 27 minus 3 30 plus 6 so minus 24 okay so this is what x so x is equal to what x y and z this is equal to 12 divided by 6 minus 2 18 divided by 6 3 and minus 24 divided by 6 minus 4 so student here we can write the solution point x is minus 2 y is 3 and z is minus 4 okay students here we are completing today video lesson i hope you have understood how to find out the solution of linear equations having three variable okay for more video lesson of this topic keep watching your channel ravi sarji maths thank you thank you so much